Hey everybody, today we're doing a comparison video between two bottles of water, Evermore and Penta. I've never had either of these before, so I don't really have a bias either way. Uh, they're both similar sizes. These were both from Whole Foods. Evermore was $1.39. Penta was $2.29. They're both similar sizes. Both similar shapes. I think the designs of the bottle are pretty equal to me. I mean, they both, you know, look just average to me. There's nothing that really sticks out about the designs of the bottle. Um, Evermore says it is alkaline with a pH level of about 9, and it says it's natural artisan water. Penta says it's ultra purified water. It says it has less than one part per million TDS, whatever that means. It says it has no additives. It says it's, it helps you hydrate faster. And it says they have a patented filtration process that takes uh, about 11 hours and has a 13-step filtration level. And um, they also say that they are pure and simple. They are chlorine-free, BPA-free, MTBE-free, chlorium-6-free, fluoride-free, and ar uh, arsenic-free, and BPS-free. So there are, there are a lot of big claims on uh, Penta. But the main thing we're going to judge them on is the taste. So here we go. The lids are similar, but Evermore has, has a bigger lid. It doesn't really matter though, because we're judging it on the taste. So here we go. This is a lot of water. Not bad. <sighs> oh, this sucks because they're so they're so similar. Um I'm not saying the water sucks, I'm saying this review is going to suck because there's no clear answer. It's, um, they're both very similar and both very equal tasting. No, no aftertaste. It's a good thing. Tastes, tastes very, very pure. <clears throat> this tastes is, this tastes a little bit less pure when I'm, when I'm going back and forth. Um, and they actually say in the nutritional info that this has 16 milligrams of sodium. <laughs> so this has 1% of your daily sodium. And this has four servings. So this actually has 4% of your daily sodium need. That's a lot for water. I mean, water shouldn't have any sodium. Okay, I'm gonna say the winner is um, it's Penta, uh, mostly because 
this has like a slight, slight taste of uh, salt to it. And I actually checked, the, you know, like I said, I checked the nutritional info and it has a couple percent of sodium in it. So, Penta is moving on to the next round of um, reviews. I mean, Evermore, it's not terrible. I mean, if you like Evermore, Ever, Evermore, go ahead and drink it, I guess. But um, compared to Penta, I'd say Penta is a tiny bit better. So, thanks for watching.